and they're still coming. Bishop Mason said, go ahead on build, but you'll never be able <laughs> to build a building that's going to be big enough to hold the saints. And the greater God's glory, the more people God's going to send. We make it open for everybody, regardless of denominations. And I just want to know how many members of the body of Christ do we have in here this morning? You know you're a part of the body of Christ, but you're not a member of our denomination, the Church of God in Christ Incorporated. Won't you stand up, saints that are visiting with us? Stand up all over the building. Uh -huh. Yes. God bless every one of you, and you're welcome. Before I go to the scripture, give me B flat back there, Brother Derek Jackson. And if you ever feel like you've just worked and worked in the church and the church don't appreciate you, your family, and sometimes you just feel kind of like nobody cares. Let me dedicate this to you. If when you give the best of your service to in the world that the same When men don't believe you, understand. The Savior of sinners He hung on the cross He was God's only Son But oh him call, calling his father up in heaven said it's not it's not my will oh Say with me, oh, when I've come to the end of my journey, we are the life and the battle.
turn to somebody and tell them, you say well done. You say well done. <laughs> Thank you.
scripture. But sometimes the glory comes in so great down here that I almost saying this is like heaven to me. I crossed over Jordan and the Canaan's fair land. I wish you'd tell somebody in this is like heaven to me. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. Take your seat, too. Hallelujah. Please sit down, y'all. upon my co-laborers in this gospel and leadership of the church, all of these great members of the general board, first and second assistants and former presiding bishop and all of you who are working with us as we attempt to lead God's saints back to him. Yeah. Uh, that's what it's all about. It's not a, it's not a pilgrimage um, into the nowhere. It's not an ego trip. It's not a how great I am. It's a how great thou art. Thank you, Lord. And although Moses did not step into the promised land, at least he had the satisfaction before he died of knowing that he had led them in the right direction. Because the Lord brought him up on the mountain and said, look, there it is. And Joshua completed the mission and let him in. So when we can look and see that uh, in our tenure of leadership, uh, that the saints are again within hands grasp. I don't mean one or two. There's never been a time when there were not a few people receiving miracles. But you know you're at the borders of the promised land uh, when you see the masses and everybody is beginning to enjoy the milk and honey, the spiritual milk and honey of that other world. So I want to thank God for these four years and these men of God uh, who have labored with us and we have reasoned together and we have prayed together we earnestly have talked about behind closed doors those things that as spiritual leaders we must do and things we must not do. Now, yesterday we had um, one of the leaders of one of the civil rights organizations that came before us. I got a chance to mention to him the fact that uh, sometimes because of our, because of our ethnicity, you have a tendency to forget who we are. And I think uh, pastors and leaders that the smashing defeat 